Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav and I welcome you. Uh, in this video, I am sharing my learnings from the Middle Discourses 30, which is the title of the discourse is The Shorter Simile of the Heartwood. Uh, this is more in line with the Middle Discourses 29, which was the longer simile uh, of the Heartwood. So this, was, this is almost along the same lines, right? Still, I am covering it because I am making like sutta wise videos, right? So, here the context was a bit different. There was this Brahmin. A Pingalo Kucha who went up to the Buddha and uh, he asked the Buddha, Master Gautama, there are these ascetics and Brahmins who lead an order in a community and teach a community. They are well known and famous religious founders deemed holy by the many people, namely Purana Kasapa, the bamboo stuffed ascetic Gosala, Ajita the, of the hair blanket, Pakudha Kasanya, Sanjaya, and the Jain ascetic, which is Mahavira of the Natika clan. According to their own claims, did all of them have direct knowledge or none of them or only some? Right? So he is basically asking Buddha whether all of them had direct knowledge or some had them, some doesn't have. Right? So now Buddha's response was, enough Brahmin, let this be. So now Buddha was explaining, according to their own claims, did any, all of them have direct knowledge or none of them or only some? I will teach you the Dhamma. Listen. So Buddha said, that first, what is their claim? Do they claim full knowledge? Or do they claim direct knowledge or not? Right? Then Buddha now says, so Buddha always moved people from all these things, whether one has direct knowledge or not, whether this world was real, whether God existed, all these questions, he, he tried to move pe person back to the Dhamma. Right? So Buddha said, I will teach you the Dhamma, listen and apply your mind, I will speak. So, yes sir, uh, Ping Pingalocha replied, the Buddha said this, now it now it comes to the uh, again the the heart uh, the heartwood simile. So Buddha says that a person is in need of heartwood. He wanders in search of heartwood, heartwood, and he comes comes across a large tree which is standing with heartwood. But passing over the heartwood, uh, softwood, bark, and shoots, he cuts off the branches and leaves and departs. So he only takes the branches and leaves of that particular heartwood tree and imagines them imagines them to be heartwood, right? If a person with clear eyes saw them, they'd say, this gentleman doesn't know what is heart food. That's why he passed them over, cut off the branches and leaves and departed, imagining them they, they were heart food. Whatever he needs to make from heart food, he won't succeed. Then someone cuts off the bark, someone cuts off the shoot, someone cuts off the soft, soft foods, right? But, you know, so Buddha was talking about the various people who gather the knowledge in the wrong way. They think that this is the knowledge, but this is not the knowledge. Right? And then there is this person who just cuts the heartwood, knowing that this would, this is the heartwood, and then takes it away. Right? So similar way, Buddha is talking then of the example. Like in the last MN29, Buddha talks about Devdatta's story and how he failed. So uh, basically, a person comes from lay life to homelessness, imagining that, wanting that, you know, I will follow the path and I will completely rid myself of suffering. And he gets some positions and gets some honor. And then his desires rise and he becomes corrupted. Right? So that is like you have come for the heartwood, but you just take out the branches and leaves. And you think that this is what, you know. So, so they become lazy, they become slack, all those things Buddha has explained. But then Buddha talks about that a person who comes for social, who comes in the uh, Buddha's teaching, who follows the teaching, who doesn't get indulgent even after getting possession, honor, you know, praise and everything, and he keeps following, and then he, then Buddha shares the four jhanas, right? First absorption, second absorption, third absorption, fourth absorption. Then he, then he goes, be, uh, goes beyond perceptions of form, and he uh, becomes aware space is infinite. Then dimension of infinite consciousness, dimension of nothingness, dimension of neither perception nor not perception. He goes through all these, you know, uh, levels, and cessation of complete cessation of perception and feeling. Right? So, so this is how Buddha said that he is that kind of a person who came for heartwood and then he wandered in search of heartwood. When he saw the heartwood, he cut off the heartwood and then he went. Right. So that is how we have to be. We have to keep our focus on the goal and not get swayed away by the other things. So again, the lesson is, Brahmin, this spiritual life is not lived for the sake of possessions, honor and popularity or for accomplishment in ethics or for accomplishment in immersion or for knowledge and vision, rather the goal, heartwood, and the final end of the spiritual life is the unshakable freedom of the heart. 
This is again Buddha is saying, same with uh, same to middle discourses 29 that we have to keep our goal intact and only focus on our goal. This is the shorter simile of the heartwood, most almost similar to middle discourses 29, the longer simile. Uh, do please read the discourse, the link to the discourse is in the description and do share your thoughts, your insights on this discourse in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Namo Buddha, Namo Buddha.